Sabaha everybody and welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to take a look at an application called DarkQ. This application enables us to actually take control over the dark theme application or the way it shows within our device. Meaning, if you've had WhatsApp and you've been waiting for that dark mode and it still hasn't shown up, or you've had Instagram or Hangouts or any application that supports a dark mode but still hasn't been turned on, with this application on Android 10.0, you'll be able to force turning it on either per app or system-wide. This is TK and this is my review of DarkQ. Like and subscribe and make sure you hit that bell icon so they are always notified whenever we have new videos on the channel. Thanks for NordLocker for sponsoring this video. NordLocker provides you a great way to store and share your files securely. Anything from photos, videos, and personal information as well as documents. Your data will be encrypted securely using some of the leading edge encryption like Argon 2, AES-256, and EEC. And of course, this is brought to you from the makers of NordVPN. Check the link in the description below to be able to start your free NordLocker account. Once you have it set up, you can access it directly by using your master password. And of course, you can add your own personal information and files directly into the NordLocker. You can add users to be able to access your information directly from the Locker tab, as well as be able to be actually sharing it. So we can go and share directly using Dropbox. Check the link in the description below to be able to set up your free membership and get up to five gigabytes of encrypted data today. First thing I wanna mention is that you do need to be running Android 10.0 know out of the box this does not work on any earlier version of Android you do need to download the application it's called DarkQ and if you are not rooted meaning your device does not have root privileges available for you you should be able to use basically the non-root method meaning you will need to connect this to a PC running a batch file that is available through the XDA thread that's linked right there at the top in blue and then from there you'll be able to basically activate the service for you to be able to log in uh, the app itself is free there is no paid option although you can support the developer by going through the donate option but other than that, you have the ability of basically interacting with it on per app basis or per system wide. And of course, as you notice right there, it also has a specific support here for Oxygen OS if you want to be able to turn on dark force or forcing dark mode on everything. So by default, I have dark theme turned on. You'll notice this right there. And then, of course, I'm not going to turn on force dark theme. I'm just going to do it per app. So an example will be here. We'll go ahead and look for Hangouts. Uh, let's go ahead and hang spell it correctly. So here's Hangouts. Hangouts is not turned on right now. I'm going to go ahead and close it. I'll go in and let's go ahead and open up Hangouts. Hangouts by default in front of you, you can see it's all the, the light mode is turned on. We'll go back into Dark Q and here I'm going to go back out and then just go back into Hangouts and you'll notice that the theme did get applied directly into Hangouts. Now this also works within WhatsApp. So let's go ahead and turn on WhatsApp. You'll notice WhatsApp right there is not running in the dark theme. And again, we're still waiting on a functionality to be able to turn it on or auto turning it on directly from them. But we'll go back into dark queue. And again, I'm turning it on per app here just to show you guys that you can control what shows and what doesn't. And of course here, here is WhatsApp. Go back once, close. And then I'll go ahead and just launch WhatsApp one more time and the dark theme does get applied. And everything basically runs the same way you were expecting it. So overall functionality is very simple and very easy. You can turn on dark theme on everything. I mean, you just force it on everything here. And if that doesn't work, you can actually turn on force dark theme, which is also an option within the developer here, settings here within Android Oxygen OS to be able to run this on. So if you don't want to go in there, you could just basically turn it on here. This application is extremely simple to use. The main benefit of this is the ability of controlling which application uses the dark theme and which applications don't. Um, as you saw as well that it, on Oxygen OS, it does have that extra feature that you won't see if you install this, let's say on a Samsung device or any other device that's running Android 10.0. Uh, it won't have the, you know, apply this as Oxygen OS because Oxygen OS has that feature built in under the developer option. So it's basically utilizing the accessibility functionality and providing us a much easier, simple UI to interface with. Now, this is a non-root application, but it also does work on rooted devices. So if you are rooted, all you have to do is grant it permission when you turn it on. If you're not, please follow the link in the under the FAQ. And when you're downloading this from the link in the description below, that's going to be a thread there that there is a batch file to download and it will actually enable the service via the PC. So you do need to connect it to a PC to be able to activate it. But then once activated, it works great. I think this is a great application to be able to take control and turn on dark theme for WhatsApp, Instagram, Hangouts. Um, any application that has not basically turned on dark theme for you already, even though you're running a dark theme on your device, this will help you out. I want to say thank you very much to NordLocker for sponsoring this video. If you guys would like to check them out, please check out that link in the description below to try their service for free. Again, they offer great encryption for your personal data the same way they provide us great VPN service. Like and subscribe as usual. Thank you very much for the support and I'll see you guys in the next video.